What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. Bergman and today we're going to write a song together. So come along with me. I'll show you how it's done. This is the sheet that I handed out to you before. Writing a chord progression followed by writing a bass line, writing a melody. So if you don't have this, it's on Edmodo or you can ask me for it. I can email it to you. It's called Songwriting Lesson. So the first thing that it says to do is write a chord progression. Use the circle of fifths to identify the key you'd like to write your song in. Remember the three pie pieces trick. Put C in the middle of if you want that to be the key of your song. So right now, C is the key of the song. We can use all these chords. I have a blank circle of fifths here. Let's say we want to pick D as our chord. Now we can use all these chords and it should sound good. G, E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, D, and A, with D being our home key. So that's if we're going to use the key of D major, just as an example. Uh, remember the three pieces of the pie trick. Okay. So, uh, and it says song example, and it says three different sections. You should do a couple of different sections, but let's, uh, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to grab my guitar. All right, so... Here's my guitar, and let's say that uh, we want our first chord progression to be D, A, B minor, G. That's a good chord progression. I'm going to write that in. D, just ignore my chicken scratch as you always do. A, B minor, G. Let's say that that's my uh, verse. Okay. So that's my verse. Now I want to make up a couple, a couple other chord progressions and I'll come back to you in a second when I have those figured out. Okay, I think I've figured out what I want my chord progressions to be. So here's the verse. D, A, B minor, G. My chorus is G, A, B minor, F sharp minor, and then my bridge goes like this. So notice I didn't use all six of those chords. There's no E minor in there, even though that's an easy chord to play. You don't have to use all the chords. Uh, you also don't have to switch chords all the time. You could do like four B minors in a row in the bridge if you want to. You just have to find a way to make that sound interesting because this. not make for a very interesting song so make it interesting now of course there's different ways we could play it we could do all down strokes or something and that might be interesting or you might want to switch it up a bit and do something a little bit more you could also do like a little anticipation thing something so mess around with it find some strumming pattern that you like all right let's move on to writing a bass line it says at this point your bass line can be modeled after the chord progression of the song find the lowest note of each chord and make that the bass note for example if you play a G chord the bass will simply play the note G which is 6 3 so some of the simpler chords don't actually have the lowest note of the chord in there so I don't know you can just make it up if it doesn't seem to sound right, but this is a good place to start. If you look at all these examples, the lowest note of the chord C is 5-3, the lowest note of E minor is 6-0, and so on. So, if I wanted to do a simple bass line, I could just play 4-0 here, and then 5-0, and then 5-2, and then 6-3, which is okay, but I could change it up too, right? Something like that, you know? Um, mess around with it, see if you find something that you like. But uh, what I have, and you can do this if you want to, this is a free program, it's called MuseScore, and it's really good for writing down musical ideas. If you don't like this, you can just draw it on a piece of paper or you can print out something that works. Uh, so I'm gonna create a new score. I'm gonna title it Song Composition One. Very exciting, hey? You can name it anything you want though. Uh, let's go to 
choose instruments. That's what we want. So we're going to take out strings, plucked. Uh, and I want two things. I want acoustic guitar and I want acoustic guitar tablature just because that's how I like to work. And because I'm in D major, I know that D major is this. And if I hover over, it says D major. This is two sharps. Next. Let's go four, four time. Finish. Oh, look at that. There's my song. So my bass line could just be um, writing in the notes D. You know, over and over like that. And then the notes A over and over like that. Oops. But it could be anything you want. Uh, what I do is I write it out because this is just the way that I work best. I write that out and I copy paste it down here and then it shows the tab. That's how I write my stuff out, just so you know. Okay, but I will make it more interesting than that. Uh, next. Next, it says writing a melody. Learn how to play a major scale. Here it is. I need a pick. So here it is in the key of C major, it says, it sounds like this. I can use that C major scale or this one. And you have the one C major scale that I've handed out to you at the beginning of the year. So you can take a look at that or you can use this one. Uh, if you want to play in a different key, remember my key is D major. So what I need to do is I know that D major is a whole step up. A whole step is two frets, so it should sound like this. So, remember I don't have to actually follow whatever anything on this piece of paper. If you want to make whatever you want, make whatever you want. This is a good place to start. So, I'm up here on the 7th fret instead, but it's the same pattern. 7, 9 on the 3rd string. 7, 8, 10 on the second string, 7, 9, 10 on the first string. Okay, so now I can make up some kind of melody that fits with those chords. It's a little hard to do if I'm, uh, if I can't hear the chords in the background, uh, but I'll just have to uh, imagine that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to have a song uh, recorded hopefully, and you'll see all these elements that I use put together to make a song. Let's see how we do.
It's as easy as that, folks. If you want to see the tab for that song that I wrote this afternoon, it's on Edmodo. You can find it there. You can send me your compositions. You can write them down on paper, or you can find MuseScore and download that, or another app that you want to try out. That's fine, too. You can send me what you've written on Edmodo or by email, or you can just record yourself playing something that you've written and send it to me, too. That would be awesome. Good luck this week as you make some music, and stay safe.